If you wish to start a bakery, or if you're building a business plan for your upcoming bakery, you need a powerful financial plan that helps you gauge the new opportunity from an economic and financial standpoint. Additionally, if you're seeking an investor to be part of your project, then a bakery financial plan is required to help you raise capital. The purpose of this video is to shed light on key financial concepts and help you build a complete and detailed bakery financial plan, fast and easy. Bakery Financial Plan Excel Template Before we dive into our detailed guide, you might be interested to check our ready-made bakery business plan template that includes an automatic and fully customizable pro forma financial model in Excel tailored to the bakery business. You don't need any advanced accounting or financial knowledge to use our Excel financial plan. All you have to do is edit a few assumptions and the model will automatically generate key financial statements including profit and loss statement, cash flow statement, and balance sheet in addition to a number of important charts and tables that you can later paste into your bakery business plan. Now let's get started. Bakery Costs Forecast First, you need to understand the various costs and expenses involved in a bakery business. There are two main categories of costs. Costs of goods sold, also known as COGs or direct costs, and operating expenses, also known as OPEX. And the latter includes sales, general, and administrative expenses. Direct costs include the cost of purchasing raw materials to prepare your bakery products such as flour, seeds, salt, milk, etc. They also include anything you pay third-party external suppliers for goods you don't prepare and that you resell to your customers, such as beverages, coffee, and napkins. Regarding the operating expenses involved in running a bakery business, these costs usually include the salaries you pay your staff, your marketing and advertising expenses, your rent, utilities, phone, internet, licensing costs, etc. These expenses are crucial to help you run and promote your bakery and hence we call them operating expenses. Don't forget that some expenses such as salaries for example increase over time. Other costs tend to be stable such as your rent, utilities and insurance. Make sure you take into consideration these cost changes as you develop your bakery's financial plan. Bakery Capital Expenditures Let us now define what are capital expenditures and let's see how they differ from other types of costs. A simple definition of a capital expenditure or capex is any investment you make to purchase valuable equipment or long-term assets that are used for many years to come. Therefore, accountants usually depreciate them for the duration of the project rather than simply expensing them as mere operating costs. With regards to your bakery project, examples of capital expenditures include bread making equipment, furniture and decoration, IT and security systems, vans or trucks for deliveries. Bakery Startup Costs your startup costs are the pre-operating expenses and investments you need to make before your bakery starts operating and generating revenue. For example, getting a license for operating as an independent bakery, conducting market research and writing your business plan, decorating and equipping your bakery, paying the rent deposit to secure the location, and hiring a graphic designer to create your brand identity. Bakery Revenue Forecast After modeling your costs, it's time to forecast how much revenue your bakery will generate. Here, there are many assumptions that need to be made, like the number of customers you are expected to serve per day and their average order value. Here, a market report or survey can be helpful. For instance, to estimate your number of daily customers, you can look at the number of people in a certain age group living in your area and start making assumptions based on this information. Let's take a practical example to see the full picture. Suppose there are 5,000 people between the age of 20 and 40 living in the area you serve. And let's assume 
that around 5% of them will become regular customers. This means that you have around 250 monthly customers. Let us also assume that each customer will visit your bakery three times a month with an average order value of 15 US dollars. This results in an estimated monthly revenue of 250 times 3 times 15 equals 11,250 US dollars. Based on that, your annual revenue forecast is simply 11,250 times 12 equals 135,000 US dollars per year. In reality, you should also take into consideration the impact of seasonality. In other words, your revenue might be higher or lower during certain months or seasons of the year. It is important to use conservative assumptions backed by reliable research and sources when estimating your sales. You don't want to end up with an unrealistic revenue forecast. Bakery Income Statement or Profit and Loss The Income Statement, also called Profit or Loss Statement or P&L, is a key financial statement that summarizes the operations of your bakery over a certain period of time. It is based on a simple formula that takes your bakery's revenue and subtracts from it your direct costs or COGs, your operating expenses, your depreciation, your interest expenses, and your taxes to finally compute your net profit or loss. The income statement is important because it shows if your bakery is profitable or not and provides investors with valuable financial information to assess your project. The P&L statement is usually modeled in Excel and presented in a table format that you paste in your bakery business plan. By using our bakery financial model included with our premium business plan template, you don't need to worry about building an income statement from scratch. This financial statement is automatically generated once you edit your cost and revenue assumptions. Hassle-free. Bakery cash flow statement. The second key financial statement for your bakery business is called the cash flow statement or statement of cash flows. Let's first discuss a few important concepts to better understand how this financial statement works and why it's important. Did you know that cash and revenue are two distinct things? And did you know that expense and cash are two different concepts? Here's how. Suppose you receive an invoice for 1,000 US dollars from a flower supplier dated October 10th, and you have 30 days to pay it. On November 20th, you pay the amount via bank transfer. What happens in your financial statements is the following. In October, your P&L recorded an expense of 1,000 US dollars, but nothing is recorded in the cash flow statement. While in November, your cash flow statement recorded a cash outflow of 1,000 US dollars, and nothing is recorded in the P&L. Moreover, some items that are considered as expenses in the P&L are non-cash items and thus not recorded in the cash flow statement. Take for example depreciation. When you depreciate your bread making oven, you record in the income statement a monthly amount that takes away from your profits while in the cash flow statement. There is no subtraction. You only record the initial amount of cash you paid for to acquire the bread making oven at the time of purchase. Think of the cash flow statement as a summary of the cash movements occurring in your bakery over a certain period of time. These cash movements are categorized into three main groups. Cash flows from operating activities, cash flows from investing activities, and cash flows from financing activities. Remember that investors care a lot about the cash situation in your bakery project and a cash generating business is a very attractive investment. Bakery Balance Sheet The balance sheet is another major financial statement that can be summarized using the following formula. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. It is simply a picture of your business at a certain point in time. The balance sheet shows readers what your bakery owns and what it owes. 
while the difference is its net worth. Assets usually comprise your short-term assets, such as cash, inventory, and receivables, as well as long-term assets, such as property and equipment. While liability includes short-term liabilities, such as accounts payable, and long-term liabilities, such as a bank loan. Equity is basically the capital contributed by the business partners, plus any retained earnings from the previous period. Conclusion We hope you enjoyed your bakery financial plan guide, and that it will help you build a solid financial forecast for your bakery project. In case you wish to save time and money, we highly recommend you download our automatic financial plan template in Excel included in our ready-made bakery business plan package. It allows to create a robust financial forecast for your bakery fast and easy and no financial expertise is required on your part. You also receive a full and pre-written business plan tailored to the bakery business. For more information, visit businessandplans.com.